Hey everybody, welcome to, back to another Brawlstars video. First off, I like to apologize for lack of videos lately. You probably noticed the new background around me, and that's because I've been pretty busy with life. I recently moved back to college, so I'm in a dorm right now. So that kind of hindered me from posting lots of videos. However, I'm going to start posting a lot more soon, so stay tuned for that. However, today we got some pro game loot between my team, Tribe Gaming, versus IX Gaming, which is Jack Chepo, Crying Man, and Slash, and second best too. They were all four really great players, and we had some pretty good games, so I figured that I'd share that with you guys today. And yeah, let's just jump on into it. Alright, so up in the first match here. This is where we're some of the final match of the game, Lee. I think I forgot to mention that earlier, but... Some pretty high level gameplay, so... To start off, we decided to go with Bull, Spike, and Ricochet, because... There were bans. The bans were Shelly... We banned Shelly, and they banned Piper. So, we knew that they couldn't run like a Shelly or anything, and they knew that too, so that's why we ran Spike, because this map is really popular for tanks. So you see me charging in right there, I saw an opening, however Jack got jumped up for I did, so I kinda got killed really quick. But I still did pretty decent damage, and we still maintain control, Usain and Flay did a pretty good job. You'll see Usain get taken out by the Spike RNG and the bull right there. So move, moving on up, you'll see me, I was, uh, I, oh I'm sorry, you see me, I took out Primo there. Usain takes out Slash, and now we're just trying to gain control of this map. Heist is really about control nowadays. The safes are like so high health, you can't really one push anymore. Because they recently, or they didn't recently, but like two months ago, they buffed all the safes to 45,000 HP. You'll see Jack jump on me there. But I did manage to stay alive. I have not died yet. So now, I'm just trying to get, regain some health, maintain control up here a little. You'll see me charge past. I just did that because they're pinching me. I just want to stay alive as long as possible because... That's where you really thrive, is where you're like a bull is distracting on the safe, and you have two heavy hitters with Spike and Ricochet in the back, doing lots of damage. Like it does a nice job taking out Jack. And now on defense here, you'll see Usain holding the Spike back and me on the bull. We're trying our best, but it's kind of hard. Defense is pretty difficult nowadays. Usain is taken out, now our safe is really low, we don't have much we can do here. And yeah, that's the first game, and we'll hop into the next one here. Alright, so the format of this was a best of three in each map, and there was five maps, so it's five sets. Best of three on in five sets. So we did decide to go with the same comp, again, because we didn't really see how you could really fix it. We don't really like the running double tank, because Fela and Usain, they don't really play tanks that much, so it's pretty much on me. You'll see me going up against Jack, I'm just trying to like keep these two back while my team can push up. However, Slash is doing the same thing on our side. And they took me out faster with the Barley, because he can shoot over walls. And Barley kind of counters our comp a little, because we have a Ricochet and a Spike, and Barley counters both of those. So I think we did get kind of out comp in Heist, but I don't really think Heist is our best mode. But anyways, we just kind of do the same thing. Just hold control, because I said you can't really want push in heist nowadays. You'll see me using the bull shield star power, and that's because you, people don't really leave bulls in the safe. So, and the shield just does better for holding control, which, as I said, is really important in heist. Second is a nice RNG on Usain right there, and we're kind of getting pushed back a lot here. So you'll see Jack throwing the super on the safe, and. I think at this point, like, we kind of knew that there didn't really much of a chance here because we were kind of getting dominated. I do charge right there, but you see Slash hit me once before I did, so there's already low health going in. I could have had a better charge right there. I think I kind of wasted it. I feel like there was a super on the safe. Spike super on the safe does, it used to do 10%. I think it does a little less now. But it always is, when you're playing Spike and Ice, it's always good to throw a super on the safe. See Slash just holding control. We can't really do anything because if they move up, Bull is just gonna walk up and one-shot them. You say Mr. Super on Jack right there, and I'm just trying to do as much as I can. But Bull vs. Spike, like I get kind of pretty hard, so I can't can't really do that much. I'm on the safe now. I just get three taps and go back into the bush here because I'm just trying to. I think I did. Well, it doesn't really matter because we lost the game anyways. But that was the first set. We're not we're not out yet, but obviously it's a really good team. We kind of got out comp so. We'll just hop on the next one here. All right, so the next map here is Undermine. We decided to go with Penny, Jean, and Spike. 
because Gene and Spike, well, we're running Gene Light, not Gene Min, but Gene and Spike both have pretty widespread attacks, so they're pretty good at holding control on the grassy lanes. And Penny's turret's also pretty good for control, so we decided to run our comp with that. But I think their comp's a little better than ours here because they have a bull, and the Penny turret can't really do anything against that. Penny turret's really good against low health brawlers who just try to hold control, like spikes or like throwers, but bull just kind of runs through everybody. We don't have that. We don't really have anything to stop since the spike, but Chubba's doing a good job helping on Philly's lane. So he's kind of struggling, and once like they get control with like the grass, can't really do anything. But you see me, I'm holding my matchup, which I should be doing, because Gene counter spike pretty hard. I just get the quick kill on Slash right there. And you saying does get pulled. He probably should have dropped a turret right there, but he decided not to, and it paid off. Because it's kind of like a gamble, he didn't really know if he's going to live or not, but he lived with 47 health, so that was good. He throws it on my lane, I don't really know why he did. But I, I guess he tried to help me out, but didn't really do anything, I guess. And you see the bull takes me out, because Gene vs. Bull, I have to hit him so many times to kill him. And he, the grass just allows him to walk up. You see he does the same thing again, but I'm kind of doing a better job this time. Because I know the threat, I like know the threat now after he beat me the first time. And you see it's 8-4 to four on gems, there's not much of a chance here. Once like Gene and Spike get control, control with the curveball, and like the poke you can't really heal up, and you'll see we're just very low health. And then they get countdown. I'm just trying to hit a pull like last ditch attempt. I'm just like running in. There's nothing really can do from here. So well played by them. You see we're down three games to start, which is kind of disappointing. But we didn't really let it discourage ourselves, and we still we still knew we had a chance for sure. All right, so hopping into the second game on Undermine here, we decided to go with. Gene mid this time because I was feeling pretty confident my Gene and we decided to go with Nita because we knew that they weren't gonna run something. We knew that they were gonna run something Nita. You can't really counter Nita with anything they're gonna run besides the spike, but we were thinking to put a Gene on the spike on the spike slang. So it, it didn't really work out on the matchup at the start, but I think we still played pretty well this game. You see me and Feli take out second miss together. This is with the Brock mid, I don't really know what they're thinking. I guess they're thinking that, like, Brock mid's really good if you outplay them, and I guess they're thinking that they're just gonna slap me in mid, which I, they didn't. You see Jack just hit me two shots right there, he almost hit the third, stay alive, it's three to four on gems. We still have pretty good control, I guess slash DC'd, or like, joystick broke or something like there, I don't really know what happened. Chapo misses his alt there. I think he's just trying to clear out bushes, which I really don't think was a good play because I, Gene will win the auto aim fight between Gene and Spike. So Spelly's never going to walk up. The only person that's going to walk up is Gene, so it kind of helps him out there. You see they switch lanes, Spike versus Spike. And you say he's doing a good job holding his lane. He got his bear, just pushing him back. And now we're up 8-1, to one, or 8-4 to four once they pick up those gems, but we're feeling pretty good at this point. The only way we're really going to lose this game is second pull is me, and I know that, so I'm like being extra cautious. He goes for the pull there. I knew it was coming, so I kind of juked it. And now we got the countdown, and they're all pretty much dead, so they don't really have that much hope at this chance. I think this is one of our best played games the entire series, and especially, it's really important for us to get this win, because once you're down a lot, you just keep losing, you just, it just gets, you just get more tilted and tilted. But once you get that one win, your confidence just like skyrockets. So we felt pretty good after this game. All right, so hopping into the third and final game of Undermine. You see, we decided to go with Daryl because we thought they were going to run like a squishier comp, but they decided to go back with the bull. So their comp kind of counters ours a little, but they don't really have much of a mid because they're trying to go with the Brock mid again. I don't really know what they're thinking. I guess they're just trying to patrol a little and outplay us, which I think they kind of underestimated us. I think everyone kind of under underestimated us going into this because I, it's like Chepo's team's kind of like the hot team right now because in the NA Open they beat SSG and they beat us and they also beat SSG leading up before this game too because so, they played in the quarterfinals and that's the semifinals. So the winner of this series would be the favorite of the entire tournament because it's kind of like all the best teams on one side of the bracket. However, it didn't really work out that way but see I got a nice pull on Chepo there and we're just kind of, I could have gone for those gems there but I knew second was coming up on the side and something I learned a lot because I'm kind of not 
new to submitting an SNG, but something I learned a lot was not to be too greedy. Because if you lose all the gems there, like we lose the game, it's not worth that. You don't ever want to like just count yourself out. So yeah, I pull here, Chepo knows that, so he's not going to go for that gem. Because this is an easy pull for me. You see, you saying it's a nice roll on there, we kind of pinched them pretty good. And it picks up a few gems, rolls out, which is exactly what it should have done. You saying played really well this game. See, we have countdown, there's nothing they can really do. But you have bull dash, they're not totally out yet, but we kind of know that. So we just kind of sit way back in response to the point where, like, he's go pretty far in to kill us, and if we do kill us, like, we'll respawn. You see, Felly's doing a nice job body blocking me there, and we managed to take this set. So now the sets are tied one to one, we'll hop on to the next one here. Alright, so the next set is Siege on Nuts and Bolts. It's one of, one of my favorite maps. I love playing Jean here. We decided to go with Spike, BB, and Jean because we all felt pretty confident in our ability to play these brawlers. You see you saying it's the trade at the beginning. The first bolt's really important with BB. You can both run up really quickly to get there. I had a nice pull on Slash. We get that pull. And then once you get two bolts, you know you can't lose this robot. There's only four, maximum of four spawn. But you see we get three, so we secure this down. It's really important to get the first robot because whoever wins this gets control of the map for pretty much the rest of the game. Unless you like throw. I feel like it's a nice job holding back Slash with the spike. He dodges Chepel's pull right there, and you'll see me getting tapped a little. So I knew I had to back up, because on offense, you don't really want to die, because you just pretty much waste your push, and you also lose control. You either want to stay alive and do damage, or just stay alive. You see we're all three tied up. I sit in the bush there, trying to get a pull on Chepel, and managed to grab him. Just a nice team kill on there. I don't, I've, I'm kind of surprised at that pull. It's kind of like maximum distance, so I was pretty proud of myself for that. Me and Feli take out second there, and Slash turns in for the bolt to all three of us. I don't really think that was the play. He's kind of fed us a bolt, fed us all super, and wasted his super. And also gave us control. Fe I mean, Feli dodges another one of Chapel's pull right there, so really good play by him. Let's see if we get the next robot. So we got the first two robots. We're going to have control for this last siege. We're only down by one bolt, is 3-2, to two, so we're feeling pretty confident about this game from here. However, they're doing pretty good on defense, so... They definitely haven't lost this game by any means. Chepo pulls the robot there and Feli's just trying to do as much damage as he can. But we don't really want to lose control here because we all suicide for damage. Like, we're probably not going to finish the Ike. So and we just lose control and if you lose the last robot, you're probably going to lose the game. So you see us, we got we managed to get the first three bolts here, I think, if Feli picks up that one. We did. So we got six bolts now, we're feeling pretty confident, however, Slash charges there, you saying gets pulled. I pull Slash here trying to kill him, but he managed to get the off the last second. However, we did barely manage to take the siege. You'll see they have five, takes up the six right there. So it was a pretty close game. However, they didn't get a really, really get a siege robot, so they didn't really have a chance to do any damage. So we just kind of knew we won at this point, so we're just kind of spinning. I mean, we're all friends. So it's just like what we do nowadays, we just like the old BM, as you guys have probably seen from like literally every single tourney. Anyways, they wrapped up that game, and I'll hop into the next one here. Alright, so hopping into the second Siege game here. You see the bolt spawns on the left side, so that's the side me and Usain will go. This is the first trade really important. Usain managed to pick it up and dodge the attack. Really nice play by him. Usain's probably one of the best BBs in the game, for sure. You see, we decided to go with Barley instead of Spike, because we figured they'd change their comp, and and Barley counter spike, so we kind of outcomped them here. I had a nice pull on Slash, I knew he was going to go for that bolt. He'd be really aggressive, so it was an easy predict by me. You see they did get the second Seizure Robot, I mean the first Seizure Robot, but it wasn't really that big of a deal because we still kind of had control when it spawns, so we kind of did lots of damage. Like Usain already took out like a fourth of it. So, and Fellas doing a nice job keeping their spike back. He was to finish off here and slash this suicide here. I don't really know what he's thinking, like he didn't do that much damage to Ike and that's gonna help us get control. If he was alive, it would really help him out a lot. See, Chepo does pull me there, I don't really know why he did it. He just kind of fed me super and Usain just killed him. And see, I did manage to pull second there into your Ike. As Gene and Seeds especially, you once they get close to the Ike range and your Gene, you just want to pull them straight into it because it's pretty much like a free kill. The Ike did so much damage. You see Slash runs up here, he f kind of feeds me super and doesn't even get the bullet off, so kind of misplayed by him. However, I did miss the pull in second there. I was kind of being too, a little too greedy, but make of a deal. I'm just trying to stay alive and hopefully get messed off. I'm calling for Feli to come help me, and he does, so nice teamwork by us. And now at this point, we're feeling pretty good. Like, we're all three alive, the robot's pretty healthy, and they're all dead. 
So I'm just like saying if you see like we can finish this, go all in. So we just kind of all three go in, take out the Ike. Barley's really good for finishing, for doing Ike damage. So it wraps up the, that set. So now we're up two to one in sets. We're feeling pretty confident. And yeah, let's just hop on to the next set here. All right, so the fourth set was Brawl Ball on Su Super Stadium, yeah. And we decided to go with uh, Barley, BB, and Poco because we knew they're gonna run Spike because they sub Crying Man in and, and Crying Man is known as like a Spike one trick. So you see, Saint Usain does a pretty good job holding control in his lane. Feel like takes out his, and I just pass the body Usain here, thinking it'll walk it in. And so he passes the Chapel, and Chapel walks it in form. So pretty nice play by us. We got a 20 second goal. So we're one nothing now. We pretty, feel pretty confident. I think Bravo is definitely our best mode as a team, and I think it's their weakest. So we were definitely feeling pretty confident. And you see me and Feli kind of a misplay here. I, I was trying to heal, and he passed me the ball. I don't really know why he did because we just had to get damage off. So we kind of, kind of like a, a blooper there, but we didn't really let us get us down because we knew we still had a pretty good chance. And Feli does a pretty good alt right there. He just kind of gives you saying control, which is pretty important versus a, a spike. Slash kind of yolos for me. I don't really know why he did that because it just leaves you saying all the offense here. You see, you saying makes a really nice play and squeezes in right there. So we managed to finish that game off in about a minute. Had two quick goals and yeah, let's jump on into the last game here. All right, so hopping into the next Bravo game here. We, you see, we decided to go with the same comp because we knew they wouldn't change. And Feli did, did switch skins, though. Feli always switches skins after between games. He says it's a secret strat, which it did pr work out pretty good for him here. As you see, he's doing a pretty good job versus a BB who counters him. I'm just trying to help him out a little. You just kind of get a little bullied here, but we're not in too bad a position. We just corner it and. They don't really have anything that can just like plow right through his feds of BB, but Usain managed to take him out. So now I'm just kind of in my corner. Spike's curveball can't curve around to get me there, so, and I knew that. So I was just trying to stay right there. I did manage to get the peak shot on crying. And now it's just a Poco who can't really charge in. So we had a pretty good defense right there. And now we're just trying to get back control of the map and then pick up the ball and go for the score. And Barley alts are really good for that. And Poco, we just kind of. I'll use the supers right there to push him back. Philly goes back and get the ball, which is a pretty good play by him. And now we have kind of good control. And Usain's on the Poco side, and BB can BB can just run right through a Poco. He, Poco can't really do anything. Philly also the BB, which is pretty good because it prevents Slash from healing. So Usain will automatically win the 1v1, even if he does get tapped like that. And now he can just rush in for the goal because they're low health. Slash does manage to knock the ball out of his hands, but since that. He was so high health and Slash was so low health, he was still able to score. And at this point, there's only a minute left, and we did get our matchups right here, like this while he's on the spike. So we're feeling pretty confident from here. So we didn't really want to be too aggressive and just go in for the goal and die. So we just thought about corner it, you know, be safe, it's a safe play. Cornering on Super Saiyan is pretty effective because there's two boxes there. And now we're just trying to hold control until the end of this match. Feli gets a nice alt there. Feli kind of carried the set. Well, I think Usain played the best, but Feli, Feli's Barley also really clutch here. They just pretty much, whenever we got in a pinch or we just needed a push up, Feli just Barley ulted and just like cleared them all out. Slash goes in for the kill on me here, which he almost did, but since they had the heal, we managed to stay alive. And you see now at this point, they're kind of desperate. There's only 15 seconds left and they have to score. We have control in the corner, so we managed to take him out here. We were we were pretty proud of ourselves. Slash's team or Slash and Chepo's team. They're kind of like the hot hand in the competitive scene right now. Like they've won the NA Open and they beat SSG in this tournament, so it felt pretty good to take him out. And we didn't move on to the finals of the game, however, we didn't manage to close it out there. We did get beaten by some twelve year old gods, Patchy Jigsaw and Johnny Boy. We were pretty disappointed about that, but at the same time, like you can't really really mad at ourselves because we were a new team, we don't have much experience together. And I was just happy to get to at least make it that far. I really did want the win, but 
second place is better than losing to this team for sure. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to drop a like. I'm going to be putting out some more videos shortly. I know I've been kind of slacking lately. And you guys kind of let me know that in that comment section. I've been getting notifications about it. And yeah, if, you get, if there's anything to prove on, make sure to let me know. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed.